think I would like to see Linda, AKA the Gamer Girls picks on this one. What do you think? Yeah, let's see what uh, she thinks are some good looking systems. And so I crashed on the top with a blind bitch to get it all up was in my head. And I, 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 hey guys, Linda aka the Gamer Girl here. And do you nerd tag me in a response video? I have to say, what are my top five sexy consoles? Oh yeah. For this one it is not very difficult because I don't have very many consoles anymore like I used to. Most of my consoles are clone consoles. Uh, I was gifted a Retron 5 from Dan and I have a Retro Trio so I will have only a few of them that I have to throw into this mix but what I do have they are sexy. Pretty impressive. Starting off at number one is a classic. Game Gear, Sega, just even announced a micro, which makes no sense to me, but the classic design of this with just the two buttons, the fact that it was reminiscent of what they used to do in the early 90s, and I loved the fact that they used to give you a serial number in silver to make it feel like it was really official. But what I do like the most about this is the fact that it's classic, simple, and yet, even though it's simple, there's so many edgy lines. Oh yeah, I feel those edgy lines. Next on the list, 2 and 3 will be literally the same console, but just different designs. So the first one is Smash Bros! I love the beautiful blue, I love the fact that there is multiple characters from the Smash Bros. So when you see it, it literally shines so beautifully. I like the fact that when you crack it open, it's a different color. So it's black and it's blue. It got beat up by somebody, haha, <laughs> puns intended. And I like the fact that when you play it, you feel like you're in the game, literally smashing some people down. This is why. Oh yeah, it is so sexy. You can't open it, can't you? <laughs> oh yeah. The next console on the list is 3DS, like I said before. But this one is Pikachu Yellow. It is a beautiful design that I can tell that they were going for simplicity, but yet it's Pikachu. It literally is Pikachu. This one is completely yellow with a beautiful button design that I just, I can't, I can't right now. Literally it's like Famicom meets American with the Japanese and the American style. And that's why Pikachu is so sexy. Oh yeah. You know. Then uh, this guy shows up and he starts calling the Pokemon by the wrong names. I don't know, just on purpose to patronize me, making fun of me. I don't know what his deal was. Uh, he called Bulbasaur. That's Onion Turtle. Geo Dude. Punchy Rock. Meowth. That cat with them long ass arms. Ekans. Purple shit. He called Diglett. That's floor shit right there. And Doug Trio. That's three floor shits. He knew Pikachu, but. Everybody knows Pikachu. Oh yeah, that's Pikachu right there. Now number four was a toss up. It could have gone either way between the Xbox 360 or the PS2. I went with the classic PS2 because for me, the slim version is just so darn darn cute. Can I get a hell yes in the chat and in the comment section and anywhere in the world because when they did this, they didn't realize that this was a sexy mother chucka. <laughs> I like the fact that everything is, the lines are all handsome and beautiful at the same time. So literally you got yourself one sexy slim mother trucker. <laughs> I like the fact that it was simple lines for its time, but yet it was so innovative to crunch everything in when a time and day and age when everybody wanted it to go bigger and better and so much other that. It just went 
Well, let's just slim it down. This was one of the first companies, Sony, to slim down something that you literally thought that that would take forever, but they were innovative and they were new and different. And yes, a lot of electronics slimmed down like the CD players and different things like that, but it was one of the first consoles to figure out how to make it slimmer with the PS1 than the PS2, but not make it look so eh. And you go, ooh, this deserves to be on the shelf by itself. And I love that they used to accent with, you could get the same color as your console. So they had many, many different colors. Like we had the special, you know, yellows and blues and reds, but you could get the controller and you can get your memory card to be exactly like that. So if you wanted it to go crazy, you could if you wanted to. And that is why the PS2 is so sexy in my book. Oh yeah. Thanks. Oh yeah. Now before we start the last one, are you weirded out yet? Are you? Just need to know. <laughs> Tom and Lacey, I don't know if you should attack me in this one. <laughs> okay, so the last one is the sexy PS4 Gold. This was a limited edition. This one came out when they were doing, which they're literally gonna do again, the PlayStation Play where you get benefits and discounts on so many levels that it's really ridiculous on how much you can get for a good price. But this one was simple yet so flashy. It came with a matching controller. You literally saw so much pop from this, but I like that it didn't go too overboard to where you were like, hmm, you got simple controllers, simple consoles, and then you have, wow, too much. <laughs> so I like to have a little pop, but I like to have it where it's just one color. I like to have something that's flashy, but not so over the top, like cyberpunk's console, you know, combination where it's just so many colors, you don't know what to do with it. And not knocking anybody who likes the cyberpunk one, but for me, I, I prefer maybe two colors, three colors on the most. And if you are going to make something like The Last of Us 2, they did something super simple, which is just the tattoo from Ellie. I would have grabbed that if I didn't have this, but sadly, I already have a PS4. And yes, it's a PS4 Pro, but in my book, it's still a PS4. Doesn't have any other name. <laughs> so once the PS5 comes out, we'll see. Uh, I might wait and see what they do. Will they slim it down, even though it looks like it's going to be a tiny, thin little thing. But yeah, that is why the PS4 is so sexy in my book. Ooh, yeah. The 1961 Ferrari 250 GT, California. So guys, that is currently the end of it. We have all the five that I consider in my collection to be sexy mother truckers. Yes, I like to say that, just be silly. But for me, I wanna know. It's gonna be an open tag and I'm gonna tag three people. What are the three to five sexy consoles you have in your collection and why? So it's an open tag for anybody who wants to respond. Please tag me on Twitter or Instagram to let me know that you did a response because YouTube not giving me any notifications on any video anymore, even though I check out your channels all the time. But I do know that there's three people that probably haven't been tagged yet. One is going to be Bones Z06. What are your sexy consoles in this collection? Two, let's throw in somebody I haven't thrown in the mix before. Zombie JLT. What are your sexy consoles in this collection? Huh? And we're gonna go with Not Another Game Collector. What are your sexy consoles in the collection? You have five? Now, if you already have been tagged, you don't have to make another response video, but if you haven't been tagged, good luck. Let's see what you throw into the mix. And remember, we're all handsome and beautiful in our own ways. Stay safe, everybody. And I'll definitely catch y'all later. Keep on gaming. Bye, guys. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl. She's here, she's playing games too.